I told you we had a jam-packed show, and it's a fun show. And I have another surprise guest. And this guy, he must be very special because he's running around with Ron Gregory. So, so he must have a lot of patience and, and a good sense of humor as well. I'm sitting here with Dr. Kalik. And he deals with all health concerns. I think this is a good segue from Dr. Dez because he deals with all health concerns, uh, mental, spiritual, physical. Did I sum it up, Mr. Kalee? Yes, yes, Dr. Kalee? Yes, that's what all health concerns is. Okay, so break that down. How did you get to all health concerns? Who are you? <laughs> well, I'm a uh, basic health practitioner in okay. complementary and alternative medicine. I've been trained and educated in various modalities mm -hmm. to address, you know, various health challenges, whether it be heart disease, cancer, and to provide my clients with a uh, complementary and alternative service, or which includes modalities that work in harmony with the human physiology, and that's why. The, the wellness practice is called All Health Concerns. I, I have to ask, um, what led you in that direction? Well, that's when I was 11. I started actually studying, uh, which was happened, one of the books happened, happened to be uh, Cooking with Mother Nature mm -hmm. uh, by Dick Gregory, uh, Jethro Claus, Back to Eden, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, How to Eat to Live. And uh, I was studying with my grandmother, because my grandmother was the gardener. Because I had not, I had, I, was, I had actually onset juvenile diabetes, okay. but I had never uh, was subjugated by uh, pharmaceutical medicine. It was always home remedies. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know, as time went on, you know, I uh, after corporate America, I went attended school in, in the International College of Traditional Chinese Medicine, and that from that point uh, just saw the the value in Ayurveda medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, orthomolecular medicine, uh, homeopathy. You mentioned something earlier when we were talking prior to taping about um, an individual who had cancer, mm -hmm. and they were um, given a very limited time. And, and tell our audience that story and how um, you or the medicine, do you call it medicines? Well, it's, uh, it's not actual medicine. Mm -hmm. It is... Uh, uh, pretty much what I call adjuvant nutritional therapy mm -hmm. or complementary nutrition. Uh, the first case that it was in 2000, a gentleman was referred to me. I had owned a health food store at the time. Uh, and this gentleman had stage four lung cancer, not small cell lung cancer to be specific, with brain metastasis. And as if you look at the meta analysis, most people don't survive within or beyond a year. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, cancer that aggressive in that particular region of the body, along with metastasis. And metastasis is when the cancer starts to spread throughout the body. Uh, so I had provided the client with a adjuvant nutritional therapy prior, two weeks prior to his uh, chemo treatment. Okay. And uh, he had a softball-sized tumor in um, October, no, September, of 2000, and by February, this softball size tumor was gone. Wow, and these all this is a documented this, this case. Clearly documented. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, he continued my protocol, you no know, uh, pre chemo, during chemo, and post chemo. Uh, November 2001, he there was no sign of cancer at that time, um, and the doctors considered considered him like it, they couldn't believe it, you know. So. Um, he continued the protocol uh, all the way up to 2006 and was declared cured. Wow. Okay. And now I'm not saying that this is a, uh, a, a, a actual treatment. Uh, there's a combination of things involved when you're doing a lifestyle change, also the will of the patient. And, uh, and, I, and I'm not going to discount chemo because I'm sure that played a key role as well. But what the nutritional therapy does, it builds the resistance from the adverse effects of the treatment as well as build the, the immune response, what we call metabolic response modifiers, which is how the body uh, heals itself. Okay. Uh, and so Mr. Misha was dedicated enough to follow through with the protocol and uh, six years later was declared cured because, you know, with after five years, uh, they considered the treatment successful. But he was only on chemo for about maybe a year, 
and uh, he um, lived uh, almost 17 years. My years goodness, ago. you know, um, we're going to, because you're actually in the St. Louis area, you're located, mm -hmm. um, we really want to um, continue conversations with you and even maybe come over to where you are and, mm -hmm. and let our audience get a view of more of who you are and more of what you do. And, and if you can sum up some of the, your background in history, because just to kind of give them an idea, because we will come back to you again and ask you to be on Smile so we can elaborate, but we, we're going to have to wrap this up. I just wanted people to get a, a, a chance to see some of the, the variety of things available. Well, what makes my, my, my practice unique is that I have the privilege to meet many pioneers, including Dick. But you know, Dick Gregory was a health guru. Yes. Uh, fasting specialist. So I learned a lot from Dick through his writing and his, you know, mentorship, uh, as well as, you know, German physicians, uh, other Asian doctors. I uh, had a great uh, mentor in, uh, at, who was a doctor of oriental medicine mm -hmm. in Florida. So pretty much uh, I comprised and consumed all of that to perfect my wellness practice. And that's what I do. I use the best model. I have a 24,000 professional dispensary uh, products of you know, uh, 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 different persuasion, whether it be traditional Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, uh, homeopathy. Okay, and if um, individuals want to make contact with you, how can they do that? 